Welcome and good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining this session on compliance enforcement using LoRaWAN. Environmental, social, and governance, otherwise known as ESG goals, are now at the top of pretty much every corporate agenda. This is being driven both by changing societal and investor expectations. If you're not familiar, ESG refers to three central factors used in measuring the sustainability and societal impact of an investment in a company or a business. Many people believe that analysis of these criteria helps to better determine the future financial performance of companies. Environmental criteria frequently include assessments of greenhouse gas emissions, biodiversity, waste and water management, for example, while social goals are centered around things like diversity and human rights and animal welfare. Finally, governance refers to management structures, employee relations, and executive and employee compensation. The area has become so important that many companies are now appointing ESG officers specifically to oversee the company's performance on these metrics. However, as with most things, proving compliance means that data needs to be collected to correlate actual performance with either objectives or regulatory requirements. IoT and OP WAN technologies like LoRaWAN can now be coupled with easily available cloud computing and analytics resources to make this process simpler than ever. So today we'll focus primarily on how LoRaWAN can affect the environmental and employee comfort and safety parts of ESG. As many of you know, LoRaWAN has ideal attributes for today's workplaces. 90% of work sites are in existing structures where retrofits are very costly. In both old and new structures, floor layouts and use patterns can be expected to change frequently in today's dynamic business environment. Both make use of long-range, long-battery life wireless devices imperative to achieve monitoring objectives. Furthermore, the choice of private, public, or hybrid network options and global frequency plans ensures that any connectivity need can be addressed. Finally, as more LoRaWAN devices are deployed to address ESG compliance, volumes will increase, thereby driving down prices, making implementation more affordable for even more companies. Now, all of us here at the Things Network Conference of course, believe in LoRaWAN, but we aren't the only ones. Um, IHS also believes that the future is bright for LoRaWAN and connected spaces, projecting a nearly tripling of deployed devices in the next three years. So, what applications can benefit from using LoRaWAN-based wireless sensors? You see here a few examples where sustainability, employee safety, and productivity can be meaningfully impacted. In the first group of sensors, Simple PIR devices can be placed in key locations to control and monitor desk and room usage. This information can be fed into room and desk booking systems, which can then enforce usage rules. For example, usage can be concentrated purposefully to limit HVAC and lighting demands, or distancing rules can be enforced in the case of a pandemic return to work scenario. Most importantly though, real estate managers gain very important insight into the actual demands on space, giving them the ability to right size the real estate footprint. Simple PIR devices can also be used to implement predictive cleaning schedules based on usage instead of elapsed time. This can reduce waste of cleaning materials or allow more frequent cleaning of targeted areas without any increasing in staffing levels or budget. Panic buttons for hotel staff are a big regulatory requirement throughout the U.S. and other parts of the world as a means of ensuring employee safety from misbehaving guests. Real-time monitoring of refrigeration temperatures is often impossible due to the difficult RF environment that commercial refrigeration poses. However, doing so can save thousands of dollars or euros in food or pharmaceutical waste by catching problems very early on. And finally, remote thermostatic control becomes increasingly important, especially in housing stock with a frequent transient population like hotels or apartment buildings. Temperatures can be controlled to energy saving levels when the room or apartment is unoccupied. As mentioned before, ensuring ESG compliance for most companies will mean that they will need to find a way to integrate into existing legacy building environments, many of which already have a building automation or management system in place. For example, submetering, predictive maintenance, water leak detection, and increasing HVAC efficiency are all examples of where additional data collected via LoRaWAN sensors could prove to be extremely useful. Unfortunately, there are now a couple of different ways in which this can be accomplished and allow the building to be managed with minimal disruption to the present method of operation. The next slide will show some examples of those implementations. 
The primary protocol used in building automation is BACnet, although there are many other options available on the market. However, BACnet generally is assumed to run over a wired connection of some type, so adding wireless options dramatically expands the use possibilities. Shown here are two examples of how LoRaWAN can be used in a BACnet environment. On the left, in this diagram you see here provided by Acquio, are two ways in which native BACnet devices can be connected via LoRaWAN. A small standardized adaptation layer called SHIC is used to fragment and compress the BACnet over IP traffic in a way that can be now be carried over LoRaWAN packets. This can be done either directly at the device or in a BACnet over IP router which connects to a number of different BACnet devices. The advantage of this approach is that you can augment a broad portfolio of existing BACnet equipped devices to now include connecting these wirelessly. On the right is a method whereby data collected with standard LoRaWAN sensors, so this is the opposite of the previous approach showing standard BACnet sensors, can be ingested into a building management system managing a BACnet over IP network. In this case, the LoRaWAN network is set up and maintained completely separately from the BACnet network with a single gateway presenting the devices as BACnet virtual objects to the BACnet network. This approach has the advantage of being able to leverage the ecosystem of LoRaWAN devices, many of which perform functions not traditionally found in BACnet, enabled building automation sensors. Well, thanks for your time today, and I hope this gives you some idea of how LoRaWAN can play a crucial role in meeting ESG goals. Enjoy the rest of the sessions.